Am I safe? <laughs> no, I agree. Okay. Because <laughs> he, yeah, rest, rest he's an he's an <laughs> admin. The rest of us are quarantined off, like second-rate citizens. <laughs> I was leaving it for people who ran the campaigns, but then he went and made his own Discord, so... That's just the logical way to do it. I have just left him there, because he... Now, Time for my shitty campaign. Now that, that's perfect. It's got a good ring to it. <laughs> it's typing. No, it's that... IP to what the fuck, <laughs> Richard? The who owns everything. He's like fucking Disney. Ah. Are you seriously gonna fix this until it's correct? Yes. No, I'm kidding. I, I've, I'm, I'm just, you know, just doing what everybody else on YouTube does. There you go. Can we do that? Ah. It says you do own. Oh, I do own shit. You uh, idiot. Uh, and enter. Disney's gonna pop a cap in your ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so they had said uh, in 20 minutes that, uh, or in around 20 minutes that your ammo should be arriving. Why do we go to our rooms? Uh, to freshen up. Oh. Alright. What's in my room? Uh, in your Depression. room is... Depression. Yes. God damn, no. Um, it has a very large bed. Uh, all right. There. Hearts everywhere. Um, it's very... Wrong. Much, each room is pretty much designed to your desire. It would have flowers. Alright, then it has flowers. Flowers um, don't exist in the blue dimension, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Everything is blue in the blue lore. <coughs> Except for the flowers, because they're not real. Can I call the maiden that was nice to me and help me get into, like, a nice dress? Are there dresses in there? Yeah, there are dresses. Okay, can I, can I, she, can she help me? Who? The maid! She's walked out. Where is she? I want to find her. I need her help. Uh, there is a bell you can ring if you'd like. All right, I'm gonna ring the bell. Right. I'm Notre Dame. You're, <laughs> you're, you're sprinting down the hall. Just oh jeez. <laughs> burst lines open. <coughs> yes, my little sweet. How can I help you? What's wrong? Can you help me put on my dress, please? Of course, of course. Let's see. Which one did you want to put on today? Um. What colors were there? Dress <laughs> <Yeah>. made. <laughs> well, you gotta think about it. Back in the day, they had these really complex, complicated dresses that had multiple layers that you needed sure. assistance to get on, especially if you were nobility. So this is You're accurate. Eleven, so they don't. Really have that for you. I am also eleven. You're also 11, so your dresses are a lot simpler. Nice, but I still want help. Alright. What, what colors did you say there were? Uh, yellow, blue, blue. pink, and, uh, There's an obvious choice here. Blue! Yeah, come on. <laughs> Puzzle solved, idiot. And they're like, they're like, we hate that dress, it's ugly. <laughs> Get her out of here. And then, um, she... Right, so she gets the blue one out. Um, it's kind of like a kind of like Cinderella. Very simple. A lot of tool at the bottom. All right. All right. Arms up. <laughs> Arms up. Freeze. <laughs> and, <laughs> right, and then she she'll help you squeeze into your little one. This is a robbery. All right. So tired of coughing. All right, and then she'll kind of take you over to the vanity. All right, and here you can start on your hair. Well, I go. I have hair. She gives you a brush. 
Hold on, I haven't confirmed or not if my character actually has hair. Your fur. Your hair or fur, whatever you do. I know, but like... Do, do I have... just- do I just have a cat head or do I have hair? Hold on, you gotta come back to me now, I gotta figure this out. Alright, alright, Zootopia. Anyway, she gives you a comb, start combing yourself. Alright, sh she walks over to Theo's room. Oh god, how can I help you? You can't. <laughs> I just ring the bell then. I think he was just mocking what I did. Well, if you don't need anything, get ready! And she slammed the door. <laughs> and she starts stomping to Garmin's room. Kicks the door open. Can Garmin wear his extra bloody clothes to dinner? I swear to the eight gods above, Garmin, if you don't cut this out, I swear to God. Well, you know, I will be a god one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my fucking right foot up your ass. All right. Oh, Jesus! I'm wearing my bloody clothes. No! They're not even here anymore. I took them all to the laundry. I'm getting you fired. Ha! Huh. Try it. Okay, so I have to. And she'll close the door. I've determined I have poofy cheeks, but I do not have what you call human esque hair. All right, then brush. I will just brush my fur. I have very poofy cheeks. Oh, that's so cute. All right. Anybody else doing anything of importance, of interest, or anything? No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I, I got nothing. Why am I in the chat as Arlen? For the purpose of this, do we want to make the old man, like, a lot younger? <laughs> no. Nope. I want old man. You just want he's, to... He's the old this, man. Leo. You have to so, live with your mistakes. So fucking Benjamin Button over here. Did you forget that Chase's character really existed old. when you made us children? Why are we their children? Because that's what it is. We don't know. You just are. That's we just went through we... a portal and now these are our parents? Yep. Yeah. yeah. You know how in this campaign we never know anything? That's yeah, this is more, it's more of that. Oh, okay. It's because you have to watch the video. I didn't, I literally said, I didn't have really, like... We have to do homework for this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the paper is due on Friday. Ugh. <laughs> I want a one-page essay. Next thing you know, he's gonna be fucking having an attendance policy. <laughs> Wait, I'm fucking perfect. Lumpy's getting fired. You don't fire people from the <laughs> DD campaign. <laughs> yeah. No, fire. We're gonna have to hire a new DM. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Wednesday is open, friends, if anyone wants it. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, no fucking takers, am I right, bitches? <laughs> Why would they're muted? Oh. Yo, you can't take every day of the week. Theo's actually try he is trying to become like Disney. He's yeah. running a monopoly. Just, just for D and D, he like wants every he wants week. every day of the week to be Theo Day. <laughs> this is preposterous. Theo plus coming to a TV near you. Coming to a for a forum near you. If Theo gets the Monopoly, he can start building houses. Oh my god. Oh my god. Also, I don't know if I... Monopoly. You don't know what, Stormy? I'll be getting off work at 9 on Wednesdays. So I don't... Ugh. Scary. Um... So... Alright, so y'all get into whatever garb you'd like. I mean, what would they have put in a room for a crow person? <laughs> uh, like, nice, fancy clothing? What do you mean? There's a whole bunch of gold strewn around the room. A little shiny, shiny crystals. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably going to find the least fancy thing I can find and try okay. and figure out how to put it on. I mean, it, it's like it everything, is designed, everything in your room is designed for whoever body type you have. 
Yeah, but wearing nice clothes is not something that's... Is there like a, is there like a suit tailored for Arlen? <laughs> <laughs> a suit tailored for Arlen? Uh, not really a suit, not like a full like suit. Um, but it, it's kind of, it's kind of like a, it, it is a jacket. Like it, it's the topper. He doesn't have pants. How does he wear pants? Does he wear it on all four legs or just the back two legs? Exactly. They just couldn't figure it out. So they gave him a jacket. He has a jacket. Um, he has a very uh, uh, a tailored jacket for him. And instead of like a little like flower on the or a little flower on the on the pocket, it's like a little bone brooch. I got a bone to pick with you. Alrighty. So you know, you're uh, fifteen minutes uh, pass, five more before uh, the twenty minutes are up. Um, uh, you hear um, Tammy uh, in the hallway and shouting out, "Children!" Who? Please come out. Tammy. Tammy. We never, asked, we never asked her name. We didn't yes, know that. You did. Spoilers. You did ask. You did Spoilers. Ask God, her name is Tammy. Yeah. She's Maybe related to the legendary world. hero. You guys asked. She asked you all to come out into the hallway. Okay. I, I will go out into the hallway. Do I have special shoes or can I not wear shoes? I just have not shoes. Allergic to shoes. There's shoes if you need them. There's everything you need in your room. They fit my little kitty paws. Ah. Garmon will come out shirtless. <laughs> but wearing nice shorts. <laughs> Fantastic. Garmon's going to the beach. Garmon doesn't going affect me. I'm not saying shit. I'm just, I'm just going out of my room. Okay. <laughs> All right, so everyone comes out. Um, children, I have terrible news. Oh, great. our parents have been killed. Oh no! How <laughs> unlucky. <laughs> we just received word from your aunt and uncle that they are not going to be able to make the trip. Oh, thank God. Oh no! I just got a doorstep. I know, I know, children, but you also just can listen. Your grandfather is sick. Yeah, he deserves to die anyway. And as you remember, he is staying with them. And so we will be going on a trip over to them. <coughs> as oh, as spicy. As by your parents. So, we will take tonight and tomorrow morning to... Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow to get everything together. Please pack for five days, and then we will be on our way. Okay, children? That is all. She'll clap her hands. Alright. Oh. Can we at least have dinner? So there's there's not even like uh I will call you down <laughs> for dinner when it is ready. Just wait till you get fired. <laughs> we we don't even have a goal right now, right? They're like there's no. not even a key. We have no idea what we're looking for. Alright. Just making sure. <laughs> there's kinda of LARPing right now. Well I just it doesn't have to be a fucking just something to work towards. But I'm just baby right now. You are just baby, yeah. You are just baby. Alright, so she'll call you down for whenever dinner is ready, but for now, you guys are free to pretty much do anything. <coughs> go <coughs> I'm gonna go find a small animal and go prepare my new set of bloody clothes. That's great, Garmon. Where will you like to go? Outside and find the first smallest animal. All right, outside. Calico is outside. Covering your neck. Um, do you find a possum outside? I'm gonna grab its tail because it's okay. gonna fucking faint. Yes, it is. It is just... And then I'm gonna take it to my room. Okay. And yeah, then proceed to bloody my clothes by cutting it open. That's great, Karma. Yeah, thank you. Okay, anybody else? Did they show us around the house when we arrived, or...? Why would they show you around the house? Mm-hmm. It is your house. Why We've lived here you? for years, Mitchell. We've lived here in years, Mitchell. It's your house. In years? In years. In years. <laughs> in Mitchell. a few years, we'll live here. 
<laughs> well, does Scritch remember how to get around the house? And no, everything? unfortunately, you just remember arriving in the alleyway. All right, then I'm going to go explore the house then. <laughs> they got a library I don't remember here. it, then freaking heck. <laughs> not remember. Calico would like to follow Scritch around the house. All right. Kind of doing like a twirl in the hallway, though, to like because she's in a nice dress. Is there like a nice courtyard area outside? Uh, there is kind of like, um, there's a courtyard. Let me, uh, there's, so you would leave outside in the back, Jake. Uh, there'll be a, uh, kind of like a courtyard with a fountain and that's, and there's some of like arches and then there's a more beyond the arches, which is more like, um, kind of like a, uh, groundskeeping kind of thing. Um, so there's two options you have there, the courtyard or like the more plains kind of. Oh, you think know, of, I want the more of, plains. Like, golf, think of like golf, but like. Uh, with more trees kind of like yeah. hedges hedge maze kind of look all that oh i'll go to the hedge maze we we'll go to the hedge maze okay uh, and Arlen will so... come with me it's shocking and i'm gonna go grab a snack all right uh so if you're going outside circle of green uh if you're exploring the house uh let's make you a new room if you're exploring the house the brown box Outside counts as the as the the trees, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. This is just going either into the courtyard or into the the, the backyard part, the landscape. Uh, and if you're staying in your room, stay in the black box. Um. Olga and uh, Calco. And what? Are you staying in the in your room, or are you gonna go? Oh, uh, I already said I was gonna follow Scritch. Okay, so you're going there, and then Garmon, you're in your room. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's go to the the explorer's house. So are you guys all sticking together, separating? What's up? I'm looking for a library. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll I'll stick with the old man for at least a little while. Okay. Are you going to follow suit, uh, Calico? Can I just ask someone for this? Why do I have to explore the house? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, ba I'm baby. They should help me. Yeah, they will. They'll yeah, I'm just going to ask someone if there's a library. <laughs> so you what, you just go up to somebody at one of the you know major butlers and just say, where's the library? Yeah. <laughs> they they look at you rather weirdly. Um, it's been over there the entire time, young master. Perfect. Look, I'm tired from being rich and everything. I can't remember every room in our goddamn house. Come on. <laughs> oh, the photo. The... I just act like there's nothing weird about it. There's there's nothing weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cat! I swear to God, I'm scared of Rico. <laughs> He's behind me. He's about to kill me. Um. Okay, so uh, you are you you find the library. It's where they directed. Um, it's rather no, it's not the biggest library in the world. It's a decent size. It's a room. I'm just gonna. Two look offices for, put together. Look for some books, see if I can't find out a little bit about where we are. Um, yeah. Yeah, you find um, a couple books about the history of the area and the geography. I don't care about the geography. Okay. Uh, what are you specifically wanting to know? I, where are we? What is this family? Let's see. So, da, 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 where do I have uh, their family? Their family. All right, here you go. All right, so you are the Solder, uh, the Sil, the the Silder family. Your family is kind of more at this point. You guys have just inherit and or, or just keep inheriting money. Um, but the uh, what family? Silder. The Silder family. 
S I L D U R. Or the Slaughter family. Um, but your great great grandfather had um, been part of the spice trade, uh, um, and he had managed to make uh, a very unique trade route. Um, unique trade route with a far off land, getting uh, incredible <clears throat> spices that couldn't be found anywhere else. And it was that that led to his success, leading to um, your rich establishment that you have for now, Carrot. Okay. And for all intents and purposes, you are pre it's pretty much that. It'd think of um, Jack the Ripper, Victorian England. It's basically the aesthetic and the area. All right. I really like how you lead with Jack the Ripper instead of Victorian England. <laughs> the is Jack the Ripper. I just think of dead prostitutes. Everything. A white girl watching a serial killer documentary. <laughs> the cute one. That's fucked up, Storm. Um, <laughs> uh, any other question that you're looking for to be answered? Or here. Are there any other powerful families? Um. Yeah, there are other other rich families. All right, we gotta kill them. <laughs> okay. They've got the key. <laughs> there are some other other powerful families. Um. Yeah, that's it. I think after that, I'll I'll just roam around for a little bit until dinner's done. I guess. Also, do I still look the same? Yeah. Uh, it's up to you. Do you want to look like an old man, or you can look younger? Up to you. Doesn't change the story, because there is no story. It's not my choice. I just went through the portal. <laughs> what do you All mean? Right. All, right, then you All right, then you went through the portal, and you look significantly younger. Leo weirded himself out in his own campaign. Yikes, what do you dude. mean? I don't care. He could be old. It, to me, it doesn't bother me. But if it like if it helps your immersion, you can be younger. Well, I, mean, I don't know. That, maybe maybe they like the maybe I'm still old as fuck, but they just see me as like I'm eight years. Old. I don't know how yeah. this place works. Sure, they still see you as a as you know someone young who needs assistance in the world. Damn, I just gave Leo such a good idea. Look at that. I mean, to them, you're. I mean, to the uh, to them, you are their child. Perfect. Holy shit, they have a lot of kids. <laughs> yeah, I described it. I I told everyone. I just they're like, how did this happen? I'm like, I describe it as they are like an the Angelina Jolie of this world, where they just adopt a bunch of kids. And this is just to collect them. Oh, okay. I was gonna say because if they had them all themselves, I mean, and half of them probably would have died. So. So, no, no, no. They're the Angelina Jolie of this world. They just okay. adopted all. <laughs> Gotta collect them all, you know? Um, uh, you know, sometimes you do a lot of bad things and you feel like maybe adoption is the only way to make up for it so you don't go to hell. Any whores. Uh, okay, so we're gonna leave you guys in there. The library for a little bit. Talim and Arlem, how are you guys doing? Mm hmm? How are you guys doing? How's it going? I'm hanging out in the trees. Are you looking for anything in particular, or just... Not really, no. Well, actually, wait, we don't have our weapons, right? You have... You have your main weapon. Oh, okay. So. Do what I have ammunition for my main weapon? Uh, you, yes, you have yours. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'll just, I'm hanging out in the trees. I got nothing I better to do. I would say that if you, um, if, you went, if you stayed in your room and looked around, you did find the rest of your, your weapon in there. Just oh. Sort of and chest. That's so good. If you wanted to grab that, it's up to you. Yeah, I need my... Oh, I'll look through the monocle. Do I see anything weird? Everything's blue. What? That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know what else you were expecting. Eh, I'm bored. I'm gonna roll the voodoo dice. Okay. What do I have to roll for these again? <laughs> I don't even remember. I have it written down though. Where's my voodoo dice? Um, roll one d 
Okay, first roll a, a, a d2, and then a d7. Okay. 15! So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Oh, that's not bad. Alright. Uh, so the so the dice spell um so the dice reveal uh in red red bloody letters um they'll say wrath <laughs> ah shit yeah um so uh for so for your next uh combat encounter uh you you have advantage on all your attacks uh but any attack against you has advantage oh well, I just have reckless attack permanently for an encounter. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. And feel the rage in your forehead towards it. <laughs> All right. All right. And then I'm just chilling in the trees. That, that, that's it. All right. I so got nothing trees, to plant. You can see. You can see the your most of your state, and in the far off distance, you can see other estates. I will know. I am going to the tallest tree. Yeah, and I'm going to climb it. See. There's not the, uh, the all the trees are about the same height. Um, there's not really one that like stands out over the uh, the rest, but um, from your tree spot you can see the house and the estate and then other estates around it. Around because you are in the rich neighborhood. All right, um, Garmon, Olga, what are you guys up to? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna cut off the head of this possum. Okay. And then find like something to just shove the entire head on and put it on the wall. Okay. And then like throw the body outside of the fucking house through my window. And then that's it. Olga, the only one packing. Good for you, Olga. All right, we'll go back to the library, kids. How are you guys doing? Hmm. I'm done in the library. I'm just poking around the house. Okay. Actually, can I cast Detect Magic as a ritual? You can. I'll do that. Okay. Right. I'm not going to wait that long, so I'm just okay. going to go wander around and look. Just kind of see what rooms are in this house and whatnot. I'm still shadowing, Scritch. All right. All right, Scritch. I mean, you find a lot of different rooms for the, you know, the, the fancy rooms, the dining room. Uh, you find a fine china room, a oh. gallery, uh, a lounge, you know, the usual stuff. You find a, um, a, what's it called? Uh, like a greenhouse room? <gasps> no. Greenhouse. And things like that. Hmm. Guess I'll go see if I can't find the old man to see if he can see things I can't with his magic stuffs. Okay, as you find the old man, he finishes his detect magic. There's no magic. No magic? Nope. So I'm not, like, sensory overloaded like I was in that other- Nope. No sensory overload, just no magic. Scritch wants me to look at something? No, I was just coming back to see if you found anything different from oh. what I saw. But I'm guessing seeing as you see nothing. And no. Nah. I'm just gonna start walking around the house. I'll just follow after. Okay. What I've looked around, the old man seems to have good eyes for things. Do you just respond saddle? <laughs> Uh, you guys are wandering out for a little bit more, and 
that's when you hear um, a loud gong and the maid yelling for y'all to come to dinner. Fucking gong? What's wrong? <laughs> Well, historically, uh, Jack the Ripper England was fond of gongs. So. <laughs> Jack the Ripper England. Ripper <laughs> attack. I'll quickly put my bloody clothes I just made into the puzzle. What did you say? Jack? It keeps cutting out for me. Hmm? No, I'm memeing. Don't worry about me. I'll go to dinner. Okay. Yeah, I'm hungry. Oh, well, what did he say? Jack? He said Jack the and then stop. Track the Ripper oh, yeah. was known for its of gongs or something yeah. like that. Yeah, something along those lines. Something along Jack the Nipper. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Jack the Nipper was actually just a cat. And he had catnip. So you guys um, arrive at the dining hall. Um, she will let most. What does it look like? Hold on, we're, you're at the door. Okay, we're at the door. How big is the door? She just starts letting y'all in, except for one of you, Garmon. Yes. Oh, I thought you were. You said you were going to dinner, like within bloody shirt and pants. No, I I wanted to put them in my closet, but then loud noise just happened in my house. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, are you just going in normal clothes to the, to dinner? Yeah, but I'm not gonna have my hands washed. That's too much effort. I already hid the clothes. Okay. Roman. Uh, What's on your hands? Uh, grapes. Well, that won't do. My head. Okay. She'll snap her fingers and disappear it from your hands. What? Lie down. Get him, get him, get him. Like in the air. Okay. Yeah, it's what I do in the hospital. Well, supposed to be doing All right, that. so you guys enter the dining room. It has a, a long, beautiful, um, dark, uh, dark oak table in the center. All the chairs are finely ornate. Um, the theme seems to be kind of um. A lot of, you know, like different fruits and vegetables kind of decorate or carved into the, into the wood. The decor also seems to um, designate that, including the fine china that is on the walls, just hanging around it. Uh, there's different um, ornate decor of gold and leaves. There's also the massive chandelier on top of the center of the table. Oh, a chandelier. Oh, <laughs> there's a fight, you know we have to try to knock the chandelier down. To kill the big bad. And then she was too skinny, so it just falls around her. And she fucking sends you to hell. Alright, good. Theo's already... Theo's already right. prepared. Alright, so... Hey, uh, Leo? Yes? How easy is it to crawl under this table? Uh, same as the other one. Also, oh, so I can just walk under it. Nice. Is this table also five feet tall? <laughs> yeah. Five feet nice. tall. Five feet tall table. Alright, so sh um, she seats y'all down. Um, Uh, there is a, in the corner, there is a spot, there's like a separate little, like, lower table, um, that is, uh, for the animals. Ah, so that's, that's for Garma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where we put Garma and Kalka, you know, they're kind of like, yeah. Um, no, that's, no, that's where Arlen, the cow, and the horse go. Ah. Uh -oh. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, at the very end of the table, your father and mother sit. You guys are sitting on the exact opposite side. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, Mommy, Dad. <coughs> hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Discord keeps cutting me out. Hold on. The DM's gone. Let's blow up the mo Oh, hey, buddy. Okay. I'm gonna be right. What were we saying? Right. So she was just. She was greeting the mother and father. Yes, yes. Welcome, children. I'm sure you are all terribly upset about your grandfather. No. You would feel, uh, um, the maid has not left as she was around the table and she will give you a slap to the back of the head, Pat. I mean, no. I mean, no. No. I am not upset. Well, your father is terribly upset. He's, just, he's losing his appetite. Yo. So we were going to go check on him. <laughs> the fuck do you want, cat? Where is it? There it is. I knew it was here. I knew I sensed chaotic presence. Alright, uh, so, uh, dinner is served. Thanks. Where is it? Um, uh, let me see, hold on just a second. Pheasant risotto. Okay. Take a side of pate, a deck of duck pate. Uh, and, this place uh, fucking sucks. Can I just have some pizza rolls? <laughs> <laughs> pizza rolls! <laughs> boiled asparagus. Ah, boiled? What? Yes, what is wrong right. with these people? <laughs> I, that, that's what it says. Why did they boil it? I don't know. That's what it says. It says boiled. It doesn't say steamed. It says boiled. You know, it is rumored that uh, Jack the Ripper only killed people who didn't boil it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story and that's what you would say oh god boiled asparagus it's disgusting that sounds fucking gross they might bring that any whores um, anything else do you guys want to discuss anything while I'm during dinner Leo I don't know these people what do you mean? They're your loving father and mother. I yeah, don't give well, a shit about them. Yeah, if only we had any memory of anything about them. <laughs> we should so, look for like a. We should first look question. For like a... You're my what? parents? Second oh. question. Who the fuck <laughs> are you? <laughs> I want it to be as silent and as awkward as possible. Well, joke's on you. I'm already silent and awkward. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then you guys will all eat in silence. Here at the dinner. Mm. Yes. Scrit will just kind of pick at it and the clothing. Very clearly not exactly at peace here. Hey, Tal, can I feed your dog? <laughs> Okay. Dog! Don't poison him. Uh, His name's Arlen. Uh, the mother will speak up. Come on, please yeah. do not be feeding the pets during dinner time. It's already a hassle enough to get you clean. Please just stay at the table. I can sit here. They can come to me. No, the animals belong over there. And then I'm going over there. Come on, stay in your seat. No. I don't like this woman. I am an animal. You want proof? Carbon, you are our child. Please. I'm gonna go to my room. You're, you're not ex when you get up, you are not excused from the dinner table, mister. I gotta have, I have proof that I'm an animal. You ready to see it? 
the maid will the maid's gonna pick you up and put you back in the chair. Uh, is Garmon in a booster seat? Yes, Garmon is in a booster seat. Am I in one? Torture. Yes, you're also in a booster seat. Nice. Your name short is in a booster seat. <laughs> but like not like not like an actual like not with like a fucking high chair or anything. It's like the, the one that they have at like the movie theaters. It's just the, the box. Just the like box lighting you up. Stay at the dinner. Stay at the dinner table. I won't ask again. You're not my parents. <gasps> That's Mine it. are dead. That's it. Tammy? Alright, Tammy's gonna pick you up. You hit me, I rip off your fucking fingers. And she takes you away. Good. You're all worthless. <laughs> A hundred lashes. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Victorian e England is waterboarding legal. The fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bad children get waterboarded. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that bad? <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> is it too is it bad? Is that not is that not parenting one oh one? No, it turns out it really isn't. <laughs> that's it. Servants take him to the waterboarding chamber. Yeah, ah! God, you Garmon loves it. <laughs> Steve said a hundred lashes. Is that better? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, you fucking kinky piece of shit. Give me liberty or give me death. <laughs> Waterboarding is not liberty. If <laughs> a hundred lashes are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Two for each state, baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Garmin gets taken away. Um, what are you? The rest of you gonna do? They're just continue eating, just in awkward silence. Why am I uh, eating? Yeah. Um, what did I say? Uh, pheasant re uh, regatta with a side of duck pate and boiled asparagus. Sick. I have no idea what that stuff is, but I'll eat it. Did they even, uh, duck... did they even season their boiling water? <laughs> no, <laughs> probably not. Uh, pheasant regatta, Stormy, is like, it's, um, it's kind of, you combine pasta and, like, a meat, um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a, not like a lasagna at all, but it's like, it's kind of like a layered dish. You kind of bread the, you end up breading it. It's kind of breaded. And then, and you put pasta around it. And then, duck pate is, oh god, it's like liver and, not kidneys, but it's like liver and a bunch, and a few other organs from a duck, and then it's turned into this kind of like, Kind of like a refried bean kind of texture, uh, but does not taste like refried beans at all. It's just but it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's that kind of texture. wow. Out of all those foods, I've actually had duck pate. It's it's okay. <laughs> what is for about Frank's? Well, Leo says it's just okay. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good. <laughs> Duck pate is okay. You know what was fucking gross was haggis. Haggis was fucking gross. Now, uh, you know what's really good? Jack in the Box. Oh, yeah. Actually, guys, I gotta be honest with you. I went to Jack in the Box before I came here. <laughs> was your friend there? Yeah, was your friend there? No, I haven't seen him anymore. I don't think he... He might not work there anymore. Oh, shit. So I gotta get new... I gotta get with the new... Box. You didn't get his phone number? Come on. No, I don't know. It, that's that's kind of crossing boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a certain silence, but, like, you know, respect... No respect. Uh, <laughs> he had he didn't have respect for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, respect for my patron patronage. He doesn't there get was... extra money because you fucking buy food there. He's he makes the same paycheck no matter what. <laughs> you don't know you. Ever it's not they're not paid by commission at Jack the Box. You don't know that at Jack the Box. Oh, you got that Leo guy again? I hear he's worth five extra dollars an hour if he comes in during your shift. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. 
And I also get those real complicated orders. All right, I want the pick. I don't want pickles, but I also want pickles on the left. I feel like honestly, still no pickles. If I was working and Leo came into my place to like buy stuff, I just kick him out. <laughs> And I'd be like, they kicked me out because they're homophobic. Yeah, that would be like, we don't serve your kind here. Gamers. Not the gays, just Leo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were they being homophobic. What? what you mean? you kicked book. that guy out because he was gay. No, 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 no. I kicked that guy out because he was Leo. And they're like, oh, okay, understandable. <laughs> yeah. Respectable. All right. All right, so your dinner, uh, you guys finish your dinner. What was I taking? Dessert. Uh, there's no dessert tonight. Oh, these fucking bitches. There's no dessert tonight due to they, they need y'all to finish your packing. Um, but they will they will they will save some dessert and they will make sure that you guys can eat it on the road over there. It's I mean, still an answer what I got to drink. Alright, kids, please go. When did I get to drink? We leave tomorrow at night. Tomorrow at night or tomorrow? Tomorrow at light. Well, I guess I'll never know. I'll go pack. So, my shippy cup. They send you back to your to leave. Excuse from the table. Where do you guys go? I uh, what time do they say we're leaving tomorrow? By the way, light or night? Can you? Night or light? Leo! Leo! Restart your Discord! DM's gone. Let, let's all leave. Was I taken to my room? Where the fuck am I? Nah, you just got taken away from the table. We don't know where you're at. Alright, so what were you saying, Stormy? I wanted to know what I was drinking. Um, water? Tequila. There was no other drinks. <laughs> like <laughs> orange juice. They had apple juice and grape juice. Grape juice? That's disgusting. I'll have apple juice. Why is grape juice disgusting? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like grape flavored things. I don't like either of them. <laughs> you don't like apple juice or grape juice? <laughs> really? What are you, a criminal? Yeah, I like but I can't tell you that. That's suspicious. <laughs> mm. Where the what fuck is he? Definitely mafia. Yeah, where's him, by the way? Where? I got taken away, but where? Oh, you know. I, I don't, I'm asking. Also, oh, what know. time are we leaving tomorrow? Is it at dusk? At dusk. How are they waiting so long to leave? Because we need to make the preparations. It's, yeah. It is. A, it's quite a long trip. Well, actually, to your to your aunts and uncles. How long of a trip is it? Huh? How long of a trip is it? It's two days. If we, so you're telling me they were halfway here when they decided, nope, we can't make the trip, and they turned around. <laughs> no. It turns out they're just across the street. <laughs> but it's gonna take a few days. Yeah, they just go around that, like, different alleyways in the city. <laughs> the scenic route, if you will. So, anyway, Hi. as you guys are, are towards Hi. the table, uh, what are you guys, what are you, what are you guys doing? Where are you guys going? I mean, I, I'll go pack all my shit, I guess. Okay. Go we have things to pack? Uh, yeah, he said all of our equipment was in our Time. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pack those back up. Lay down! Yeah. You think this? they're gonna freak out if I start flinging fireballs? <laughs> <laughs> As you guys approach back to your, uh, going up to your rooms, um, yeah. you'll hear the sound, you'll hear the distinct sound of, um, of, of leather hitting oh. flesh. What? Hey, what they do in their free time is not my, <laughs> not my concern. 
Alright. And I'm then gonna, I'm gonna prepare we'll some see. berries. <laughs> and then you see uh May Tammy leaving Garmon's room. She has a belt in her hand. Oh my god, Garmon! I'm gonna yeah. kill every last one of them. <laughs> I'm not gonna go in there. I'm gonna go in my room. <laughs> and she's like, oh, you kids just finished dinner. Alright. Please finish packing. She'll be <laughs> Alright, so the rest of you are just going to pack, or what are you guys going to do? I'm packing. I'm packing. Okay. I'm sharpening I'm my axe. heat! <laughs> Wait, when are, when are we leaving? Garmon, you won't be able to sit down for a while. I don't need to sit down to sharpen my axe. That's this true. is true. Wait, when are we leaving? Uh, tomorrow at dusk. Dusk, okay. What time is it right now? Uh, like, like nine, nine p.m. All right. I can just pack my stuff in the morning. That's true. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna run around the mansion for a little longer, like. In <laughs> 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 the old man's just Naruto running through the, through the mansion. He's just like I'm young. <laughs> We are fighting, creamers. I'm going to pack all my other weapons into a bag. And bring one hand axe with me in my hand. Okay. Then I'm going to go find the old man. Who, you like your dad? No. The old man. The old man. Who's the old man? The I old mean, man. Who's the old man? Oh, it's me, Omar, you fucking yeah. idiot. Come on. God, you're so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, don't apologize, because it won't work. <laughs> Alrighty, so? You're fucked. Alright, Garmon, you go to the old man. Eat. Booty hurts. Garmon needs your help. What? I need you to help me kill the maid. We're not doing that. Ah, I'm doing that. She no. harmed me. It's a bad idea. Uh, no. Not bad idea. She hit me a lot. She she uh, deserves to die. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't think you should do it, but you do what you see fit, and we'll see what happens. Okay. I need to go ring the bell. What bell? The bell that makes her come to my room. I'm gonna go do that. Alright. Now that you're a recording guy, you're gonna wanna have to turn that off. Alrighty, so, Garmin, you go back to your room, and I assume you ring the. Yeah. Alright. Alright, you hear the footsteps. And then the door opens. Garmon, what is it? I need some ointment. I need you to kneel. What is it, little Garmon? What do you need? I'm very, very busy. I wish to kill you. That's fine, Garmon. Alright. <laughs> She closes the door, and she leaves. Wait! Come back! She's, she's gone. I'm on is the worst killer ever! God, you fucking suck at this. 
You don't tell him, hey, I'm gonna kill you. Your first character at least got somebody. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Is she still in the hallway? <laughs> She's got stuff to do, man. You think you're her only thing in her world that matters? That's not gonna hit her. That's gonna mess. Wait, hold on a second. Ugh. Ugh. Let me see something here. Mr. Garmon. Mr. The Garmon. Um... Yeah, no, that's not gonna hit her. Garmon, now throwing the weapons around the house. And she'll pick up the, the hand axe and she'll pocket it. What? The U version of this world probably is trying to kill her multiple times already. So she's prepared. Are the clothes as stuffy as hard to move around as and as I'm imagining? Uh, the nicer stuff, yes. Um, but you do have some like common stuff. Not common, like for commoners, like ugh, but like you know, like nicer things to move around in. Pack in, I pack all that stuff or cut the clothing so I can move around in it. Perfect. I love it. Alright. The rest of you, anything? Uh, I'm going to make sure Garmon's not causing oh, an absolute wait. disaster. I'm going to stay as far away from the scary maid lady who yelled at me at all times. Okay. <laughs> How's my child doing, by the way? Is that with me? Yeah, your child's been with you this entire time. Is it hungry? No, it's been pretty satisfied. Well, I fed this thing like three times in the first five minutes, and it just it hasn't eaten since. Yeah, something um, something about portals just fills it up. Wow, that's convenient. <laughs> Portal had a lot of thinking to do. <laughs> Wow, there's so much brain juice in here. So, just be careful if you find any glitches in here. Alright, so, Volmar, you go to Garmon. Garmon did not kill her. Because she didn't let me. Who just lets you kill them? Garmon's out here asking consent for murder. <laughs> and then I proceeded to throw my axe at her and she just pocketed it. Am I Am I doing this whole murder thing wrong? Old man. Hmm? Am I a terrible murderer? Well, by definition, all murderers are terrible. But I asked her to kneel, and then she said, what do you want? And then I said, I wish to kill you. I'm not going to tell you how to kill her. Uh, it's worked before. Only one. Every other time, they just walk away. And then I have to hunt them down. But I don't know this house. Well, yeah. we'll probably be out of here soon enough. I just don't know what's going to happen if you kill her. I don't want any disasters happening. What if we go find, like, a bounty hunter and then pay him? And then I don't kill him. And then that they do. still be the same thing, Grandma. Ah... Uh... Okay. You would still be the direct cause of her death. 
even if you try to get past technicality. <sighs> Garmin wants his axe back. I'm gonna go ask for it. Do you want now? I'm gonna go ask for my hand axe back. Roll investigation, Carmen. Probably not the right stat, but that's what I want you to roll. Oh, perfect. Uh, you find her in the um. What's the equivalent of a Victor? What's the equivalent of a garage in a Victorian era? I don't think that just did. Why would they need a garage? Are the carriages? Sure. There isn't an equivalent. <laughs> There, I don't. I'm like thinking. Like, I don't think there's an equivalent. You know what, Garmon? You find her in the um, the servants' quarters. Um, she's busy getting stuff ready. Um, she's sprinting around. She has a list in her hand, a quill in the other. Garmon, what are you doing down here? Garmon wishes for his axe back. You all wish for something, Garmon. Now head up back to your room. I apologize. That wasn't heartfelt, Scarman. We've talked about this. Please go up to your room. We can discuss this later. I'm gonna pout on this goddamn step until you give me it. Scarman? Go back. I will start unpacking your things. Scarman, oh, please. That's go fucked back. up, dude. That's worse than killing her. I know. What the fuck? Garmon, I not only have your axe, but I also have the belt. Would you like that again? It's really special to me. I it's got it from my birth I parents. We'll Please. Please go back. You're right, this belt is special to you. <laughs> <laughs> it missed you, Garmon. <laughs> then can I have the belt? No, you can't have the belt, Garbon. Now go back upstairs. I won't ask again, Garbon. I'm gonna go tell myself in my room. Goodbye. All right, Garbon. Goodbye. Fuck. Bitch. Alrighty. And so, do you head off back to your room? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, what are you chibbins, what are the rest of you chibbins doing? Packing! I'm going to bed. This. Right. Sleepy time! I'm making, uh, a, I'm making a tiny hut. Wait, actually, how nice are the beds? They're extremely nice. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sleep in the bed then. <laughs> We've had lavish meals, a lavish house. <laughs> nah, you got a shit bed. It's a fucking mattress on a pallet. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the courtyard though and sleep in the trees. Okay. A shed? What? The oh, equivalent of a garage. Of a garage. A shed, maybe. Alright, so what? Okay, so everyone will continue packing until they go to sleep. I don't like sleeping alone! Uh, Only. Well, actually, so towards uh, around midnight. Uh, uh, would any of you be up at midnight? Who's up at midnight? Me! Okay. Nope. I don't like sleeping alone. Uh, I might be awake. I went to bed at eight. All right. Uh, anybody is anybody a light sleeper? No. I mean, I take trance. I don't know if that counts. All right. All right. I'd uh, imagine I'm probably about average. <laughs> the, the heaviness of my sleep. Oh, oh, old man's out, and you can't you can't wake him up. <laughs> Someone fucking hits him with a hammer. He's like, <sighs> well, who is the character that just dosed on Advil all the time? Uh, wasn't that an NPC? It was Paul. It was fucking Paul. Yeah, there was that fight where he failed, like, 18 <laughs> checks in a row to fucking wake up. And just... 
Just didn't wake up. <laughs> um, so any horrors. Um, okay, Kyle, kind of towards uh, around midnight, a, a door will, uh, your door will open. Um, oh, I'm gonna hide underneath the covers, dude, that's scary. Kyle, come little, what are you here? <gasps> yeah. I'm gonna peek out. What are you doing? Why aren't you in bed? You need to get some sleep. You have much to do tomorrow. There's scary sleeping alone, they're monsters. No. Oh. Who is this at my door? Is this Tammy? What? This is, is Tammy Hunt. Okay, this is Tammy's voice, okay. Well, hi, I'm Tammy. <coughs> I keep changing it, but this is Tammy. <coughs> He's fucking so Somebody <laughs> pretending to be a Tammy, and not Tammy. <coughs> Um, so anyway... I'm going on this guy's as Tammy, because I killed her. <laughs> I'm wearing his skin as a suit. No, um, I see what the issue is. She, she puts you back into the bed. She goes, okay. The issue. She goes over to a chest that you saw, the, that was in the corner of the room, and she opens it. You forgot all your little friends. And she pull, she'll pull out a bunch of different stuffed animals. An <gasps> owl bear, a regular bear, a, a little fake looking thing, like you know, horn, basically. Oh my gosh. And she surrounds you in a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, I think you like better. Thank you, Tammy. Alright, go to sleep, little one. She gives you a kiss uh, on the forehead. I'll look at. Okay. I'm okay. gonna cuddle the owl bear one. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it at the edge of my bed and I'm gonna tell it, You keep watch, okay? And I'm gonna go sleep. Alright. Uh, and then she will, and she will kind of do this for for the rest of you. She'll open the door. So I'm sleeping in the corner on the floor. <laughs> Ass <sleeping>. up. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I'd be sleeping on my side. <laughs> I just imagine that he was like ass up, just fucking locked out. That's so funny. In Final Fantasy XIV, the law of Phil's death animation is them like they're dead, their ass is up. <coughs> anyway, anyway, continue. <laughs> Your turn is. Your turn is in Asia. Anyway, um, she will do this for the rest of y'all. She she will go into she'll open quietly the doors into each room. And she'll go in there, and she'll give every, each one of you a kiss on the forehead. Joke's on oh. you, I'm not in my bed. I'm in well, the office we, free. We haven't gotten there yet. Uh, Garma, when she gets into your room, she will she will quietly uh, just grab a blanket off the off your bed and put it over you. And she will also give you a, a kiss on the forehead. And she does this to everyone, including you, Bullmark, <laughs> the old man. And then you hear her pull out the belt. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear her pull out the hand axe. Uh oh. Oh fuck, dude. She better be giving it back and not gonna hit. Oh, she's gosh. giving it back. Yeah. Back into your fucking skull, you little bitch. <laughs> oh my god. I should have left Arlen as a decoy. <laughs> <laughs> what is the way? Does Arlen just at the foot of the tree? Yeah. <laughs> Scritch is going to spaz for a moment. <laughs> what does that mean? So you're just gonna freak out or just kinda like twitch a little bit? It's kinda like the. Oh, he's gonna freak out. <laughs> it's okay, little one. It's okay. I'll be right back. She's got a fucking Vietnam flash. Scritch is weirded out by the concept of human lips. <laughs> <laughs> just lips. Oh yeah, he doesn't have a lip. <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking bird, dude. He has a beak. Growl and hold up claws. It's okay. It's okay, Scratch. Go back to bed.
making sure you're all right. Goodbye now. Then she will go to Talon's room. See that she's looking dead. She's not in there. Yeah. Oh, this one. God, these must be the most unlucky parents of all time, by the way. <laughs> Nine gutter ball. <laughs> Psychotic murderer. Old man, child. <laughs> yeah, he just came out with a fucking, like, <laughs> super old man. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I know why the old man is just funny. You see all these young people, and then suddenly she goes to the old man's room. Good night, sweetheart. Mwah. And he's like, who are you? Oh, God. Got her balls, all of them. We got to choose them, but did we, they choose wisely? No. Anyway, if I can clap- My joke's on know. this person, I'm the only actual child. Oh god, and then, okay, so, um, I guess, I don't know about you, well, maybe you tell him, but Arlen will, I guess, probably alert you that someone is coming. I'll hide myself in the tree. Okay. Oh, but I will try to see who it is. Take off a wild fucking guess. Ah, oh, gee, I wonder. That's right, it's your mother. No, it's making, it's fucking Tammy. Tammy has had more interactions with us than our parents have combined, so. Tammy is our real mom. saying anything to her. She's fucking scary. Oh. Leo is dead. Leo's Come fucking back. dead. My fucking Discord is not being nice to me. So, uh, what'd you say, Jake? I'm not saying anything to her. Donald, please calm down. You need to go to bed. My mom. Oh. I'm sleeping up here. Tom, it's going to be very uncomfortable, and it's going to rain tonight. Please come down. It, um, uh... Wait, how the fuck... How the fuck does she know it's going to rain? Yeah, I just saw it on the weather channel. <laughs> <laughs> come on, y'all don't look at Druidcraft. Come on. I am going to stay in the tree. Tom, please come down. She's gonna bring out an axe and cut it down. Yeah, I was about to say, Tammy cuts down the tree in one to swing. Tell him, are you upset? You usually come here when you're upset. Uh, um, I think I just, uh, I'm sleeping here. Calm down, we need to talk. Um, uh, uh. Come on, nothing's gonna happen, I promise. I'm just going to clamp on tight to the tree. <laughs> A maid by honor! A promise made by maid of honor! Who's- she's someone's maid of honor? Who's getting married? No, she- no, it's just her saying. She always says a promise about her maid of honor. Different kind of maid. Different kind of honor. Is something upsetting you? No, I'm- I'm good. You sure? Mm-hmm. Alright, let me at least bring you a blanket. No, it's fine. She's already, she's already Russian. She's already fucking fucking. Oh right. fuck, she's Russian. Yeah, she's fucking Russian. <laughs> Super black. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't even bring one for Arlen. He, he's fine. <laughs> anyway, she goes back inside the house, and ten minutes later, she's the door opens again. And she ten minutes. Out. Yeah. She's not very fast when it comes to rushing. <laughs> this is a large house, okay? <laughs> She's... Oh. <sighs> <laughs> it's just making her palpitate. Alright, sorry it took so long. I have I got you some extra pillows. Alright, she'll put one under Arlen and the blanket. 
and then do you want me to leave this down here uh, yep that sounds good all right She goes back inside. I, I will take one of the blankets, but I'll, I'll leave the pillow there. I don't need a fucking pillow in the tree. <laughs> All right. And I'm going back to sleep. I want a sleepy time. All right. Okay. All right, about four in the morning. You be uh, you're awoken by beginning of drips. That's fine. All right. And that's when the rain begins to come down, and she gets hit by a lightning bolt. <laughs> 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 so, so how would we calculate that? Lightning bolt damage plus fall damage. <laughs> Yeah, probably. 8d6 <laughs> plus 1d6 for every 10 feet you fell. The question, the question, if what if the, the explosion throws her up farther? Like we'll do is it at the apex? From the apex Yeah, down? that's that's how falling yeah. works. Okay. Excellent. Actually, you add the distance that I went off as well. <laughs> that's what I wanted to know. <laughs> what if that add, does that add extra damage? Add a G4 to that. The velocity. What if she hits... What if she collides with something? Like the house. Probably would depend on the material. Uh, I, like, I like the idea that I'm thrown into someone's room. <laughs> Did anybody find the body of the possum that I chopped the head off of? This court is really shitting itself. Is there a way I can... Is there a way to like prioritize this one? Wee wow. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out why Discord is being very bad. Um, okay, we'll anyway. Right okay. So, alright, y'all awaken. And to the sound of... Well, I don't know if you guys wake up to the bell. Uh, the bell will, r will ring at 7. I don't know if y'all are going to be awake at 7. No. I went to bed early, no. so probably. Alright, well, the bell wakes at 7. And Tammy will come down. Alright, kids, time for breakfast. Back. Right. Uh, you will hear a bell ringing on the uh, inside the house, Jake. Hang on, that's it. I mean, you can't hear anybody talking. But it's uh, seven seven a.m. when people wake up. I'll head in there. How bad right. is, is it still right raining? Uh, it's not raining too much anymore. It's more of like a light drizzle, fog. How drenched fog am I? Uh, decently so. All right, well, I'll pick up the blankets and the pillows and carry them in. Okay. Uh, as you open the door, you'll notice that there is um, there's a basket that usually that wasn't there. Um, also, there is a pile uh, of your clothing, dry, and a little cup of water. That's sweet. Put the put the clean clothing in the basket and then dump water on the wet. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking lunatic! We're not actually doing that. I'll put the, I'll put the wet stuff in the vent. <laughs> you fucking losing my mind, dude! <laughs> Imagine if you walked on someone doing that. You're a fucking psychopath. I mean, I can't exactly change in the middle of the hallway here. You know, but... That's a fucking... It's just with the clean clothes and they just dumped the water. <laughs> anyway. Oh. I'm back. 
Welcome back. I'll, I'll, I'll head up to the rooms. I'll take the clean clothes there too, sure. Okay. Uh, good. Alright, so I guess, uh, you guys gonna be ready for breakfast? I sleep. What do you mean you're asleep? I sleep, yeah, I don't get up at 7. The bell said you wake up at 7 still. Oh, uh, the bell is wrong, because I'm a, a child, and I don't want to get up early. Alright, get, get me the bell. We're waterboarding this child. <laughs> I need Tammy to come in and wake me up. She hasn't woken you up. She rang the bell and told everyone to get ready for breakfast. I'm baby dude. You're baby dude. Right. We're all baby, you idiot. That's the point. <laughs> Come on. Uh, after ten minutes. Alright, kids. Meet us in the breakfast hall. Have they referred to us by... They, they know our names. Yes, they do know your names. Yes, they've been no <coughs> calling all. I don't like Armand. this. What do you mean? You don't like that they know your names? That your family knows your name? No, I don't, because I don't know them. <laughs> what do Makes you mean? sense to me. You've known Tammy all of your 70 years. <laughs> <laughs> Don't insult me like that. I'm older than 70. <laughs> Sorry, 95. Ah, nope. There you Close. go. Another line. Okay, let me guess. Uh, 90? 93. Oh, 93. I was over by two years. Yeah, you're in, if you say I'm 95, it's, you're saying I'm old or something. That's fucked up. <laughs> What next, DM? Oh, she, she calls you down for breakfast. Time for another silent meal. Is my uh, owl bear still posted at my, the edge of my bed? I'm sorry, Storm. He's been murdered in the middle of the night. He's a, yeah, what? Right. Okay, I'm gonna give him a pat and I'm gonna tell him <laughs> he did a good job. And I'm gonna get ready for breakfast. Alrighty, um, so, anyway, so, y'all come down. Is everyone coming down for breakfast, or is somebody being rebellious? We'll get breakfast. Carmine will come down being absolutely quiet. Okay. And then proceed to stand at the dinner table. Well, you misheard me, Carmine. I said we're at the breakfast table. I mean, I'm at the breakfast table. So, you're led into a new room. This room, the breakfast room, is uh, much more rustic. Very rustic feeling. There's a separate room for breakfast? Yes, Stormy. Oh my god. What was oh my god, room? rich people in their multiple rooms for different purposes. Is there a brunch room? Are you poor or what? What's wrong yeah, with you? Are you poor? <laughs> my god. That's outside. We have brunch outside. <coughs> Get okay, her on the have... campaign, Leo. She's too poor for this. She's too poor. <laughs> What are you doing? One second. Enter the breakfast hall. Uh, so it is divided into three. T no. It's divided into three tables of five. Hmm. So each table fits five people. So you can split yourselves among it however you like. I'm, I'll sit in one of the tables, I'm not worried. Okay. And breakfast is a uh, boiled asparagus. No, no! <laughs> I'll sit next to Talon. Do 
we've already got the cool kids table. It's it's the other one. <laughs> the one the one. Wait, there. what table? <laughs> it's just there was shocking. There's, there's, there's three tables in here. With the, uh, five five to each table. Five to each table. I want to sit with the old man. This is table open. Perish. <coughs> I'm sitting next to the old man. Hold on, let me get the tables. Huh? Oh no, we can right. just table that for now. Huh? We can just table <laughs> that for now. I hate you. Alright, go to your table, you bitches. I'm at the Omni table. I'm, st I'm standing on the table. <laughs> There's still room for one more person, old man, and get to the table! Oh wait, Garmon will go to Olga. Okay, am I not Continue to figure sitting at a table? You gotta move your character to the table. Oh my god. <laughs> we have real <laughs> immersion here. You gotta you gotta choose to send your character Yay. to the table. Uh, <coughs> Christ. Oh my god, Harlem Ar gets to starve. Uh, didn't you say five people can fit at a table? Yeah, Harlan is a person. There you go. She loses rights when it gets <laughs> 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 Hooray. All right. All right. Breakfast is uh, brought out. Oh my! What is it? Porridge. Oh, porridge. Oh no. Garman does not want breakfast. Porridge and porridge. Uh, some bread, some toast with butter, and some fruit. He's, I like he's just started to say some bread. <laughs> Get some fucking bread. Scritch eats this much more heartily than he did yesterday. Steamed. Never <laughs> boiled porridge. No. Only we had some steamed hams. Boil all the flavor out of it. Yeah. <coughs> Want some boiled potatoes? Um, alright, so that's what's for breakfast. Uh, Tammy will walk around, and she will, she says, Garmin, I'm giving you this back. <coughs> no way that you're going to behave. She hands you back your hand, Ark. Thank you. Now I am not eating breakfast. That's <coughs> okay. She, she'll just kind of overlook. All right, kids. Once you finish breakfast, please go and get everything ready. If you have everything ready, please bring your luggage downstairs. We will take care of it from there. Get everything you need from the town before we left. That is all. And she'll leave. Where are we? Is there anything else on the table besides porridge? Uh, toast with butter. Oh, all right, butter. I, no jam. Nope. No jam. No jam. Why? Because you're about to leave. I don't even mean I can't have a small thing of jam to put up on my toast. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Everyone <laughs> knows when you leave for a trip, you can't have fucking. Jam. <laughs> You fucking know that it's going to be Oh my god, I want- Damn! What, what's there to drink? Is there orange juice this time? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's orange better, alright. Orange juice, guava juice. Guava yeah. juice? I've never had guava juice. <laughs> some there is no water possible drink. fucking way they had guava juice in Victorian England. <laughs> well, this is Jack the Ripper England. <laughs> yeah, come on, <laughs> Entirely different time frame. 
<laughs> All right, I will sip upon my orange juice and lament the lack of jam, and I'll be content. <laughs> oh God. Jam and jelly for my toast. <coughs> Suffer. That's what I desire the most. It says here it ended of that year, so. Koala well, juice. Oh, get fucked, idiot. They did have it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guava juice, and it's just this is YouTuber! Okay, it doesn't say, I don't know about guava juice, but it says guava. <laughs> they had guavas, because they didn't know how to juice it. Look, this guy is fucking gross. What? Oh, yeah. I've seen this guy's videos, and he just says random. <coughs> okay, let me see. Guava. What does guava fruit taste like? It's, um... It's a really good thirst quencher. It's, bur it's bittersweet, Stormy. Oh. Like lemons? Uh, no, that's sour. Sour? No, that's what I meant. It says sweet or sour, depending on the oh. ripeness. Oh. Well, I had juice. Mine was a concentrate, so I don't know if that's true. <laughs> anyway. Do they sell guava juice down in Texas? Yes. Okay. Maybe when I go down there, you can get me some guava juice. <laughs> they don't sell this up here in Missouri. Anyway. They, they probably do. I've never seen it in a store. Guava juice, uh, orange juice, water, boiled water, uh, <coughs> and tea. Wait, boiled water? Whoa, 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 what kind of tea? <coughs> they have green tea? Uh, green tea, jasmine tea, that's it. Jesus Christ, these people are clearly not fucking British. Look at this. This is bullshit. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll, have, I'll, have, green, I'll have green tea. Right. I'll have green... Oh, no, I was already having orange juice. Next. Why not both? They go green I... together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll pour the orange juice into the green tea. Yeah, some citrus with your tea. Yeah. Beautiful. It's like one of those... Uh, what was the thing my grandma told me? Oh, a guy that mixed his ice, like, unsweetened iced tea with lemon juice. Or, like, lemonade. An Arnold Palmer is what they called it. Arnold Palmer. That's yeah. what his drink is. There we go. The fuck is happening? That car's on fire! Oh my god. So what are you guys gonna do after? <coughs> um... Move my fucking luggage downstairs. God, look at this is a test. I was listening. I'm a great listener. I'm gonna try to go to the kitchen and find some jam. <laughs> Turns out, Stormy, they're all out. There's no, there's no jam. None in the entire, entire mansion? Oh my god. They're all about toast and jam. For me, they're, they're preparing for Brexit. <laughs> no! God damn you, Brexit. Affecting my d and campaign. You can't have fucking jam when you're about to leave. <laughs> my god. I'm gonna go to my room and then look out the window to see if the possum's body is still there. <laughs> You know, sometimes I'm concerned for you, Ham. This is here, but the number of sessions that it'll take before I can put you between two horses again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come back with the same character, but taller. No, even shorter. Even shorter. <laughs> yes. The fucking Digimon, the little, the one, the, the form where they're just a fucking head. Yeah, he can- he just keeps devolving. <clears throat> hey. Stormy. Huh? 
So you go into the kitchen? Yes. Young master, what are you doing here? I would like some jam to take on my trip because I didn't have any jam today for breakfast. I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> but all of our jam is going to be set with all of you to your grandfathers. Oh, so we're, at, we're getting jam? Oh, over there, yes. You might even have it on the trip. Can I take, like, a little jar with me, just in case? Oh, uh, it's already all packed and done. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna kick my little foot. <laughs> I was disappointed. <coughs> anyway, that was my trick. Okay. Anybody else doing anything? Is the possum I'm getting my luggage downstairs so they can take <coughs> care of it. <sighs> However, I'm keeping my bow and arrows with me. That's fine. Oh, See, what weapons did I have on me? I have a light crossbow and a dagger. Okay. Why does an 11 year old have a crossbow? Why do they have a dagger? I don't know. I don't know. A dagger is fine, because I... Didn't the little bitch, uh, Susie or whatever... From I knew you were gonna reference Narnia, you piece of poo-poo. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it, too. <laughs> didn't, the, didn't she have a dagger? Yeah, like she a had a dagger, and she had the little... She only used it to cut, like, rope, I think. But, like... Yeah, and she had... In a cup, right? She had little droplets that would heal. Yeah, the little piss in the cup. Yes, the little piss in the cup. I know, I remember. I remember. <coughs> I will start equipping all my weapons. I have a negative one to my strength. Is it difficult for me to carry my stuff? Um, I don't know. How, how much are you packing? I mean... Do, am I packing stuff that I owned from before, or am I overpacking like fancy clothes and um, stuff? Yes. 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 Okay, so I'm overpacking because I'm a child and I don't know what I need to bring. All right. Then I do actually, but I want to bring all this stuff. All right, then you're probably struggling to pull your thing out. Can my luggage have wheels? Yeah. Do they even have that back in uh, yeah, Jack the Ripper, it. Age England? It has a single wheel. A single wheel, like a wheelbarrow. Yeah. Alright. I will attempt to push it. It falls and it crushes you. Ah! It's over. It does 16 damage and kills me. <laughs> Alright, um, yep, yeah, while you guys do that, uh, anything, anybody else doing anything else? Bring I got nothing tea, planned. you bitch. Don't mind. Uh, Garmon, the, the possum's body is gone. <coughs> oh good, somebody cleaned up my mess. I thought I was gonna have to do it. I'm sorry? When I'm all equipped with my weapons, I will bring my bag of clothes downstairs. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Well, y'all, it's still very early, so I mean, you bring your bags down, you put them there on the side of the. Staircase. What else do you guys want to do? Hmm. Excellent. Yeah, I don't really have anything to get done in this shithole. Garmon is ready for battle.
I have my shield, I have my axe, my other axe, my hand axes, my scimitar, and this magic axe. Did y'all want to time skip to dusk? Oh yeah. Yeah! Otherwise I'm just gonna walk around the house some more. (laughs) Maybe there'll be something cool this time! You know what? You know what's weird? They always tell my cat to stop chewing on plastic, and the first thing I do is start chewing on plastic. Maybe I'm the problem. What is weird, Theo? Anyway. Uh, okay. So I guess we will time skip to the evening. The mansion is in flames. <laughs> <laughs> you guys close your eyes. You... There are 16 different plot points you missed. No. Oh. The blue dimension has been taken over by the red realm. What is that equal? Is it? Is it is it? Hello? Hi. Okay. What's up? Um, so she will all tell you that uh so Tammy will tell you all to go get your your traveling cloaks. I have a fucking traveling cloak. What? I have a fucking traveling cloak. Yes. Oh my god. No. Who dare will mess with Garmon with all of these weapons? The fucking Jack the Ripper England so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> gotta wear all the stuff. You gotta watch out for Jack the Ripper. <laughs> uh, it's almost as if I'm giving y'all a hint. Hopefully we fight Jack the Ripper. That'd be cool. It's almost as if I'm giving y'all a hint. Wait, can you repeat what you said? Oh my god. Hmm? Uh, Wait, go, who? Get your, go get your, um, your traveling cloak, Stormy. My traveling cloak? Okay. Yeah. What does it look like? Uh, you look like a little red riding hood. Oh, fuck. Turns out Jack the Ripper's a big wolf in this time. <laughs> I gotta have to find my grandma, hold on! Wait, what if it's my grandpa in this version? What if Jack the Ripper's your grandpa? <laughs> Oh boy. Chase says, I gotta visit my grandpa at Walmart. Walmart, you're looking all different today. What big ears you have. That's not Walmart, that's (laughs) Jack the Ripper. (laughs) Oh fuck! (coughs) What else is with the traveling cloak? Are there pockets? Uh huh. Yeah. And it makes you quite inconspicuous. Garmon. Yeah. You're too heavy loaded. You need a you need a light on the load because you look too bulky. Fine. I'll put my scimitar in the bag. <laughs> so you're carrying now what? Your hand axe, your axe? Magic axe and shield. Alright, you can only carry one axe. I'll put the magic axe away because fuck magic. <laughs> Alright, so you have your axe, your hand axe, and your shield. That's fine. Alright. <coughs> Drake? What? What is Theo saying? Only Mitchell would know. Excellent. Um, so. so You're talking shit. 
Theo. <laughs> so, uh, your parents will be riding in one carriage, and you guys will be riding in another. <laughs> begin your journey in the carriage. Going out by nightfall, it's quite foggy. Yeah, Just out of so. curiosity, yeah. what does the carriage look like? Is it like the onion cart from Shrek? Your parents, that's immediately what I thought of. Your parents <laughs> looks like the onion cart from Shrek. <laughs> it's their carriage. Uh, Y'all no. are a lot bigger because they will have to accommodate for animals, and, uh, Tammy. Tammy! Tammy, yeah. She's going with y'all. Okay. <coughs> Hi, Tammy. Our horse is pulling our cart. Yes, <coughs> right, you guys begin to travel. Um, hey. Oh my, it's gonna be wonderful. Oh my, it's gonna be wonderful to see your grandfather. It's been. Oh, quite some years since we've seen him, right, kids? Mm-hmm. Uh, he's always been a good man. Good man. No. Oh. Your grandfather. All right. My grandfather. Yeah, I'm going to break the fourth wall. Do you think Grandpa will know how to get the key to this world? So we can save the goddess. Who are you talking to? Just Tammy. What silly imagination do you have? What do you mean? <laughs> well, we came in through an alleyway, through a portal, and we're supposed to be looking for the key to this place so we can get out and... When we get all the keys, we can open up another door to save the goddess. I'm just shaking my head vigorously. <laughs> Guy yeah. laid his hand on his face. You see a bunch of numbers. Tammy explodes into a bunch of zeros and ones. <coughs> the card explodes into a bunch of zeros and ones. The world explodes into a bunch of zeros and ones. You're thrown out into the world again. No. <coughs> yeah, through I crashed the game. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta restart. <coughs> See, it's okay when I do this because I'm a little girl. And so she just thinks I'm imagining shit. Or in reality, I know. Yes, I've yes. broken the matrix. Yes, yes, it'll be fine. See? I'm a little girl. Tammy, do you know any magic? Well, I dabble. Dabble magic? I know a little trick here. Mostly house cleaning tricks. Tammy is a warrior. Yeah, Tammy's magic is a giant axe on your spine. Hey, Grandpa, I mean, Baltimore. What? Did you, does, did you decide whether or not you look like an old man or a young man? I left that up to Leo. I think he said I'm, I don't fucking know, actually. I think I'm an old man, but to, to me and to you guys, but to the our, our parents... I'm not. Oh. Can I get a confirmation from the DM? Confirmation. Okay. 
Hey, Mama, why do you look like an old man still? If you're a child. It's very old. What do you mean? It's a very old thing to say. He has gray hair! Oh my goodness. He's a lovely, lovely old thing to say. He has know. what? I don't know what color hair you'd like. Do you have you had white hair the entire entire life? Volmar? Hmm? Have you had white hair your whole life? No. Gray hair? Okay, what was the color of your hair prior to your death? Uh, what? Hey, it didn't die. Prior to your death. What was your hair color before you were afflicted with old age? <laughs> it wasn't, I just said it wasn't gray. <laughs> what color was oh, it? Was it blue? Brown. No, it wasn't blue. Fuck you, Jake. Brown. There you go. Good, he's not the main character of a fire up game. Brown. We're safe. <coughs> you are the ocean's great wave. Destined to save. <coughs> and my color button came me because he has his gray hair. What are you talking about? His hair looks gray. It looks brown. <laughs> I'm silly goose. Uh, I gotta. I'm just gonna pull out. I packed the owl bear stuff in, and I retrieved him, and I'm now holding him. Okay. That's it. Okay. Anybody else? Not talking, Leo. Let's go. We're in the cart. Let's go faster. Uh, Hook up Arlen to the front, boys. <laughs> up to the front. Hook up Arlen to the front. I the cast V8 engine. <laughs> <laughs> I cast V8 tomato juice. <laughs> so you laughed a little bit too hard on that one, Jake. <laughs> So let's, funny. Just say, let's just say your V8 engine spell works. Does it just summon the engine? Like, if there's nothing to connect it to, it's just a cart. So just what? Just fucking... Yeah, it just drops engine. on the front of the cart and fucking flips us. <laughs> <laughs> What's the duration on it? Um... Okay, uh... Okay. Uh, your parents' cart pulls over for a little, uh, for a second. Uh, so you guys have been traveling for through the night. Your cart's par your parents' cart will pull over for a bit. Your driver will pull right next door. Children, we uh, are gonna get some medicine in the nearby town. Uh, so but you guys continue on ahead. We'll catch up with you. Wait a minute. That'll be all. Goodbye. No wait. Yeah, they go. Nah, I don't Garmon care for him anyway. Garmon <laughs> says wait, but the window's already rolled up. Oh. He died again. Damn, Leo really is stopping to get medicine. <laughs> we have to DM, it, DM for ourselves, boys. Alright, Theo. See how low yeah, perception. See how low perception. Does anyone know how to update Discord? Yeah, you'll yeah. see a symbol in the top right. A symbol in the top right? What yeah, it's that? green. as an up arrow. Okay, I don't have that. I don't need it to be updated because this fucking shit. Okay, so what did you guys say in response to what you were telling me about? Alright. Right, thumbs up from me, boss, man. Garmin said no wait, but then uh, they didn't respond. So immediately said, I don't care about you anyway. Okay. Alright, so no one. Okay. Alright, so they, they go off and. Go yeah, off. we'll let them go die in the nearby town. It's fine. It's fine. 
think that's where the blue crystal was. Okay, since uh, Jake got to keep the the worm, can I keep Tammy when we leave? <laughs> to be fair, I bought the pot, the worm. <laughs> <laughs> Was a, Tammy. Was, a, was a terrible <laughs> deal. I did it to make a quick buck, and the pot didn't come out of the place with me. <laughs> you got the worm. That's true. But now I only have five gold, two silver, and three copper. <laughs> I'm fucking broke. Oh my God. This literally Tammy comes with that. <laughs> I don't understand. This world was pretty neat. Dude, like, if it's not Jack the Ripper England, I don't want to be a part of it. Can I keep Jack the Ripper as my personal pet? Yeah, can you keep Jack the Ripper? Yeah, good luck finding him. That is true. Now. Okay, so you guys sleep inside the cart, I assume, as it travels. Yeah, I mean, if we're running, if we're going through the night, I'll sleep in the cart. Yeah. I will sleep. All right. All right. Uh, you... Uh, who wants to roll a... Theo does. Theo does, yes. A d6. Theo. Theo does. Oh, see, Theo's nuts. This is how many dragons we have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I get a dragon necklace again? Uh, Mitchell, did you go to sleep as well? Uh, I, mean, I think if we're riding in the cart, probably not yet. Unless it gets really, really dark. I mean, you guys left at dusk. Well, yeah, no. So, I mean, and you guys have been traveling through the night. Are you going to go to bed at any point? That's my question. Uh, I'd say no. No? Okay. Okay, then this means nothing. Um, that's wonderful. Uh, is anyone else not sleeping through the night? <laughs> wonderful. Theo, Theo, roll a d5. Oh, fuck. Someone's getting attacked by Jack the Ripper in the dream world. <laughs> oh, looks like it's stormy. <laughs> <laughs> Stormy, you hear a oh, right. You see a finger, a finger glove with knives on it. Sweater. I'm gonna throw down the pallet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna teabag him with the flashlight. You're gonna teabag him with the flashlight. Oh my yes. god. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It, the pallet explodes into blood. Um, anyway, so, uh, Stormy, while you're sleeping, you get up, you, you you know, uh, frolicking through a field of flowers, chasing a butterfly, uh, when suddenly the, the meadow turns gray, and you see a figure off in the distance, it's, it appears to be some sort of ghostly apparition telling you it points its finger towards you and tells you return the slab that's uh that's exactly where what i'm going for return the slab or face my no. curse it's mine <laughs> that gave me nightmares as a child i have to be honest with you probably it did to me too Return the slab. Yeah. Um. 
So, you know, it's kind of that kind of ghostly apparition. Saying, you be aware, trust not those who live there. And it disappears. And I'll look down, and it turns out I'm in my underwear in the middle of the class. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> This is the second dream I've had, where something warns me. <laughs> Might want to get that checked out. <laughs> Maybe. Return the second. <coughs> face my curse. So yeah, anyway. That's that. Do I wake up? Uh, oh yeah, wait, actually, there's another thing. Make a wisdom saving throw. Make a wisdom save. Do I get a bonus? I'm cuddling my stuffed animal. Uh, uh, you'll get yeah, a disadvantage. <laughs> uh, you'll get a plus two. Okay. Wisdom? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Right. Uh, you feel a chill, um, but it's your choice if you want to wake up or not. I go to wake up. Okay. And I'm gonna cry! No. <laughs> Who's around me? No one. Just the guy sitting next to you saying, Return the slit. No. Uh, I mean, everyone's there. Tammy's next to you. I don't know who else decided to sit next to you. Nobody I'm going to you. wake up, Grandpa. Eh, 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 eh. <coughs> I wake up, Grandpa. I'm shaking him. I'm shaking his shoulders. Grandpa. <coughs> Pull my heart. Grandpa. What? <laughs> <laughs> Moving? Are we in a cart or are we camped? I don't understand what's where we're we in are. A cart. Okay, we're still moving though. Yeah. All right. Grandpa, I had a vision. Okay, what did the person look like in my vision? Leo. What? What did the person look like in my vision? Think of the guy. Think of the guy. Is that probably CG still? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what did you say to me? Beware of the people who live there? Yeah. Okay. I had a vision there was this weird guy in the distance. He was kind of polygonish. What? But he, he told me to beware of the people that live there. Where? I think he means Grandpa's house. Not you, Grandpa, but like the other blue world Grandpa. <laughs> I had to tell you because you're an adult. I had a vision well, like this before. And? It turned out to be true. It was a vision that the old man, dwarf that died, he went there at the time, but there was this old man that helped us before with the evil demon guy, and he was kidnapped, and he got murdered. And I had a vision, and I ended up being true, so I'm going to trust this one, too. Well, we should always be safe going into on places. Okay, but, he, but the, the weird ghost thing said to be aware of the people that live there. And I'm a little freaked out now. Well, let's uh, not have a panic attack. It's okay, I had my stuffed animal with me. Look at him. I show him the owl bear. What do, you, what do you think? He's very tough. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna sleep right next to you because I'm scared. That's All right. fine. Then they vote more. If you get scared, you can cuddle my stuffed animal too. I'm... I'm fine. Thank you. Alright, if you change your mind, he's right here. I'm gonna pat the little stuffed animals back. I'll remember. 
<laughs> now I'm gonna sleep, or at least attempt to go back to sleep. <coughs> I went back to sleep, Leo! He's oh, yeah. fucking... He's fucking <laughs> dead. That's the hardest thing to try to do long sentences when I'm coughing non <laughs> stop. dead. Alright. So, morning... <laughs> Brought around um, and to uh, toast with jam is is passed around to everyone. Yeah. How'd they toast it? Huh? How'd they toast it? Easy bake oven. <laughs> I had an easy bake oven. I made like cookies in it <laughs> once. Makes toast in an easy bake oven. <laughs> Tammy. It's her specialty. They plugged an extension cord into itself, and then they powered the toaster and toasted the toast. Easy. Yeah, idiot. Jake fucking wants cold bread, apparently. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just confused. <laughs> Confused about what, Jake? What is how the, the How the hell they toast the bread? Aren't we on the road? And? Do what they fucking start a fire in the middle of the cart? <laughs> no, do you don't need to start a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I don't know about you guys, but I can't spontaneously make toast out of thin air. <laughs> she didn't make it out of thin air, she had bread. Oh, okay. Where'd you toast it? I was present in the tree and make toast. Hold on. Oh. Well, what do you, well, I don't understand. What's wrong, Jake? She had bread. That's okay. how you make toast. That's, that's yeah, the... yeah, okay. That's, that's a step you're missing in there. Yeah, you have to toast it. <laughs> you, take the, you take the fucking bread out. You're done. You got toast. Jake can't even eat bread and he knows this. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> like, you're yeah, Jake, shut the fuck up. You don't know shit. You I mean, Leo it. didn't say they didn't stop for pit stops. I mean, when do we stop to go potty? There's no porta potty on this. So maybe we stopped for oh, yeah, they, they toasted it in the porta potty. That's what it was. <laughs> no. how, did they, how did they toast the bread? How did they toast it? They toasted it, Jake. How? how did they toast? <laughs> oh, you know. You know. Did I cast fireball on the toast? I mean the bread. Listen, all you need to know is that Tammy toasted it. No, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, a where did that come from? Her. Kick her out. <laughs> She's a bread witch. I told you, easy bake ovens. Come on. Leo, if you don't tell us right now, we're gonna have an uprising at our on our hands. <laughs> oh my god! All right, all right, all right. Um, let's see. <laughs> Uh, you um, know, this, uh, you know what? She warmed the food up with her. <laughs> That's not enough to toast it. Is it? Just, 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 just no, I just went. You can't. You can warm it. You can't toast it. You can light a fire with it, though. So we've got some warm bread. <laughs> yes. Warm bread. <laughs> toast is just warm. With jam. <laughs> it's warm bread with jam. Held <laughs> lightly <laughs> over a candle. <laughs> God. Oh, God. What do you mean? She has bread. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Problem <laughs> fucking solved. <laughs> Come on, idiot. God. <laughs> Oh, you guys can have Dylan. Oh. Alright, as you guys are finishing eating your warm bread with jam. God, the suspense is killing me. The bread eats you. Ugh. Hello? Hey. Hey. 
Alright, and then the cart uh suddenly comes to a stop. Oh shit. Uh I'll can I peek out and see why we stopped? Uh you try to, but Tammy will pull your head back in. Ah. Hold on a second, kids. I know. Yeah, man must go out there and kill everything. Uh you hear a gruff voice say uh, there's a toll you must pay before you can continue. I feel like we could just, like, take them on. How many are there? Um, you hear him arguing with the, the cab driver, or the cart driver, whatever. Uh, and, ta and then Tammy will kind of give you guys, uh, she will kind of signal to all of you. Like a quick little two-finger kind of go maneuver go like which direction away from the bad guys or towards the bad guys uh it's not neither nor it's not away nor towards it's just like a go so just action action let's go i'll get out of the cart theo's rolling initiative all right that's wonderful because that is what we're gonna end session you better save us initiative all right, Theo has fifteen. Nobody else roll. That's right. That guy. Whatever you say, DM. I end the session there. Oh my god, jam! But it was on warm bread. All right, and now you do not level up this time. Why not? We did so we much. We leveled up last time. We didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And what I eat? I'll be right back. Four fifteen to nine. So are we level twenty yet or what? No. Suspicious. Can we D level since we're kids now? That's true. Can I I'm level? a kid and I'm level six. Yeah, well you're a hacker. Right? Man, this is... Actually, it's in uh, it's in Talim's backstory that when she was a kid, she was a uh, level twenty five sorcerer. Nice. Uh, it's in my backstory uh... that I was a level forty wizard. Oh wow, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> See, really what I did is I, I've been traveling with you guys for years, but I just infinitely casted Time Stop on you while I got older. <laughs> oh, is, that, is that why you're so old now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what happened. <laughs> Shit, man. You gotta be responsible using Time Stop. No, you don't. No, actually, I just realized about time stop. Do you know how long it's? Because every time you cast time stop, you roll like the d4 plus whatever, right? Yeah, it's d4. Do plus you know how whatever. long that is? You probably don't, right? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, when you cast time stop, do you know how long it's gonna last? If it's semi-random. I mean, if the DM is a jerk and rolls it for you, no. <laughs> Take actions until all of a sudden time reasserts itself. Man, that'd be a shitty spell. Like, how long does it last? <laughs> Not telling you. <sighs> Damn.